Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Meghan Markle's request to appear on the 110th anniversary cover of Vanity Fair has been met with rejection, as the magazine has snubbed her. Reflecting back to 2013, Vanity Fair commemorated its centennial year by featuring Kate Upton on its cover, paying homage to the publication's very first edition in 1913. Model and actress Kate Upton channeled the iconic style of Marilyn Monroe, complete with glossy blonde curls and a gold satin bodice, evoking the aesthetic of the magazine's inaugural cover. Now, as the magazine gears up for its 110th anniversary, they are carefully considering numerous inspirational women to grace their cover eagerly anticipating the opportunity to invite the most influential and inspiring celebrities to participate in their upcoming issue. According to inside sources, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is expecting a call from Vanity Fair's editor-in-chief, hoping to secure her spot on the prestigious anniversary cover. However, the likelihood of this happening seems rather low due to the editor's deep disappointment with Meghan stemming from their contentious partnership in 2017. Meghan's reputation has been marred by her tendency to assert complete control over every aspect of her appearances, from the concept to the makeup style. She has often disregarded the advice of experienced industry professionals, choosing to follow her own instincts. In the context of the Vanity Fair cover, Meghan's desire to appear nude while wearing nude lipstick demonstrates her inclination to stand out and make a bold statement. However, it seems perplexing that she would be willing to sacrifice lucrative brand sponsorships in order to showcase her collarbone in a publication that should ideally focus on a more well-rounded representation of her. Moreover, tensions between Meghan and Vanity Fair escalated during a critical moment in her relationship with Prince Harry. After booking an interview with the magazine, Meghan experienced a mix of emotions. She was thrilled at the opportunity to be featured on the cover of Vanity Fair's September 2017 issue and to partake in an interview with the esteemed publication. However, when the magazine ran with the headline, Wild About Harry, and focused primarily on Meghan's relationship with the British prince rather than highlighting her achievements as an actress, activist, and philanthropist, it caught the palace off guard. Meghan was furious that the article failed to give adequate attention to her philanthropic endeavors, attributing this shortcoming to Vanity Fair's inability to substantiate two key aspects of her activism during her childhood. The interview itself was arranged by Kelly Thomas Morgan, a partner at Meghan's PR firm, Sunshine Sachs. Conducted by Sam Kashner, a long-standing contributing editor at Vanity Fair who admittedly had no prior knowledge of Meghan, the interview took place at Meghan's home. Kashner couldn't help but feel uneasy, knowing that Meghan had been instructed to exercise caution in her discussions with him. The subsequent release of the interview triggered a sensational reaction. Meghan was accused of leveraging her relationship with Prince Harry to promote herself, leading to the Hollywoodization of the royal family and solidifying her position as Harry's fiancé. In the wake of the interview's publication, Meghan made a distress call to Ken Sunshine and Kelly Thomas Morgan, expressing her dismay at the palace's furious response. She believed that her PR agency should have intervened to remove any references to her relationship with Harry, fueling concerns that she might sever ties with them over the magazine cover. Ken Sunshine reportedly warned the editor of Vanity Fair that they would have to face the consequences of their actions, even suggesting that they would have to deal directly with the Queen herself. The insinuation was that Meghan's inclusion on the cover was primarily based on her connection to Prince Harry rather than her individual merits. Overall, Meghan Markle's aspirations to grace the 110th anniversary cover of Vanity Fair have been met with resistance. The strained history between Meghan and the magazine, coupled with the editor's disappointment and the perceived lack of balance in Meghan's self-presentation, make it highly improbable that she will receive the coveted invitation. Please consider subscribing to our Royal Family Fans channel for future updates. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in our upcoming videos.